Hey everybody, this is Nathan Plenty, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a After Effects rendering bot using Plainly. So why is this After Effects rendering bot important to you? Um, well, it's important to you because you can create hundreds of video variations without any, without touching your computer. So you can basically create one master video and then create hundreds of video variations um, automatically, like 100% automatically. You can go on a lunch break and you can come back and the videos can be done. So let's dive right into how, how, how can this be made? So in this case, I'm going to be using Plainly, which is a After Effects automation tool. It allows you to create one template, then connect that template to a data source, and you can all output hundreds of videos automatically. So in order to use Plainly, I'm going to need a After Effects template. So if you're a motion designer, you know how to work in After Effects. And let's imagine this scenario that you're working for a client that's a car dealership. It's a pretty common use case. So you are working for this car dealership, like this big network of car dealerships, and we just created this awesome ad. And then the client comes in and he says, all right, yeah, this is an awesome ad, but we need to adapt it for 100 different dealerships across our network. It happened to you before, um, it can happen to you too, it can happen again. So this is this is a way to save your sanity. All right, let us let, let me show you how, to, how you can keep your sanity next time and how, how can you basically chill out while the videos make themselves. So, as I mentioned, this is a example use case where we are working for a car dealership and here is the like the sample ad we made. It's a pretty simple, it's not really, it's basically a slideshow. But the first scene, it has a city picture, it has the city name. Then we have the second scene, which has the car name. Then it goes through to three pictures of a car. And then we have the end title which is the car dealership name, the car dealership logo, and we have the this like color frame around, around the frame. Right, now the scene is set, you know what's the use case, you know what's the, the imagine, the, the, the example use case, and you know how the template looks. So how can we actually automate this? All right, so in order to automate inside of Plainly, you basically, all you have to do is you just go to file, dependencies, you just collect the files. You just zip up the whole project alongside with the fonts you're using and it looks like this. So we have the footage folder, the After Effects project file, we have the the, 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 the font we are using and then all I have to do is select three of these, compress and I create a zip file which will contain these three or in your case can be 10 if you're using multiple fonts or whatever. So the first step in automating with Plainly is you just upload this project file into Plainly. Let um, me just click on the zip file, you click open and then you click upload. Now Plainly will take your project file and it will analyze it. What 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 analyzing means. Analyzing means simply it will go through every every composition. It will go through every every layer of your project file and it will analyze it. So the analysis right now is done and that means that we can go to step two. And step two is basically picking what are the um, elements of your video, what are the layers of your video that are going to be dynamic. And you do that by creating a plainly template and that's pretty easy. You just go to add new. You just pick what's your rendering position and you give your template a name and then plainly will parse all of the layers inside of that uh, composition that you just picked. So it will show you all of the available layers in that composition. And you can go one by one and create dynamic layers, which basically means, all right, I want these layers that I choose that I make dynamic to change with every render to change with every variation. And plainly we'll show you here the layer name, what's the composition that that layer is in, and it will also show you what's the current value. And in the case of images, you can actually see what's the image. And if you have, um, if you have audio, if you have you know, video, it will also show you 
the preview of that. And in the case of solids, it will show you what's the solid color. So let's make some dynamic layers. And that's pretty easy. That's easy as on clicking the layer, I want to make dynamic, which in this case, it's city name, clicking on dynamic and just giving that layer a name. And I'm just gonna copy and paste that into parameter name. So we have two different names. The first name is the name that we are seeing. So the first name is that the name that's going to pop up in the user interface in Plainly. And the second name is the parameter name, which is the name we will be using when we are using API and when we are creating this awesome, like fully automated workflows. What I usually do, uh, I just copy and paste the name. All right, let's do um, the layer two. So layer two, car name, copy, paste. And I'll just do this for all of the layers and I'll just speed up the video. Okay, so I just um, made all of the layers I need dynamic. And as you can see, we have the city name, we have the car name, the dealership name, uh, three pictures for the car, the city picture, the dealership picture, the logo of the dealership, and the end frame color. So that's the so that's this this frame around around the around the edges of the end title, end part, whatever. So so once I made all of the layers I need dynamic, I'm just going to click on save, and then we are ready to render, and uh, which is the nicest part of this of this workflow. So in inside of Plainly, you have two ways of rendering. The first way of rendering is using our web app and it's a real simple, you just, you just um, click a few buttons and you get a video variation done, um, done in a minute, which is really awesome if you want to create like 10 different variations without opening After Effects. You can pretty much render videos on your phone. And let's let's do this, let's see how this works. So I'll just go to render and then plainly will tell me, all right, so these are the dynamic layers you made previously. Give me the values for those um, layers. And let's do whatever, uh, Miami, Florida. Let's um, do a Camry. Is it Camry or Camry? Whatever, Toyota cars. Let's paste a few pictures inside of here. I mean, I have pictures of Mustang, but who cares? So car two, car one. And what I'm doing here is I, I just went to unsplash.com and I found some pictures and I'm just copying the links for of those pictures inside of Plainly directly. So city picture, this is the one. Dealership picture, this is the one. Logo picture, this is one. And what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna do color pick this color and I'm going to add it here. Okay, okay, I just clicked render and that means that and that means that this video is sent to render and it will be done in pretty much a minute or two fully automatically. So all you have to do is just by, just like paste the values you want to use and the video will be done dynamically. You don't have to open up After Effects. You don't have to do anything. You can just provide the values and the, the video is going to be rendered. All right, the video we just submitted for rendering is done, as you can see, and we can preview it right here in the Plainly app, and we see that it's the city name, we, we gave Plainly, it's the car name, it's the um, Toyota Camry on steroids, <laughs> and we have the dealership uh, image alongside with that blue um, frame around the, the, the end, end title and the dealership and the dealership name. So as you can see, this is a really awesome way of just rendering, you know, a couple dozen videos really quickly without ever opening After Effects. But what about the use case where you have hundreds of video variations or even thousands of video variations where you cannot really, you know, type in the, these values automatically, uh, type in these values manually. Well, in that case, it's really handy to know Zapier and 
Integromat because that way you can leverage the Plainly app and create fully automated video creation workflows where you basically dump all the video variations in a Google spreadsheet or similar and Plainly will go through every row of that spreadsheet and create variation for every row in that spreadsheet. And I'm going to show you how to do that today in this in this video. So let's see, let's let's imagine this is the the variation spreadsheet that we have. It's only three variations here, but let's imagine we have 300. And what I did here is I just basically laid out all of the uh, parameter names on top, and I laid out all of the variations underneath. And I just created two really simple um, scenarios inside of Integromat. The first scenario is the one that creates the video. And the second scenario is the one that receives the videos and it links, links the videos back to spreadsheet. Now you don't have to actually do this scenario. You can basically just go to renders and it can download um, the videos themselves manually, which, which is which will take you like you know five minutes it's not the end of the world but this is a nicer way of handling the renders because you will know which render it is for what variation so let's see how this works okay so this module is basically checking this spreadsheet every five minutes and it's looking for new entries and let's imagine that the the, the five minutes um, expired and that we pasted all the values we, we need. And it, as you can see, Integromat found three new entries, which are these entries, and it sent those entries to Plainly for rendering. And if I check Plainly, I can see that we have those three renders as queued and then done as rendering and probably done in, in a few minutes. Okay, all of the three videos right now are done and we, we check the, the, the Google spreadsheet. I can see that all the three videos were linked back into the, into the column I needed. So this is one is for Miami and for Mustang. This one is for Boston and Toyota Corolla. This one is for the F-150 in Denver with in like the big car sellers CD dealership. So as you can see, this is a really powerful way of creating videos automatically after you created one template. You just basically create one template, you dump all of the variations inside of a spreadsheet, and you can get back um, hundreds of videos fully automatically. And the best thing is that videos are rendered in the cloud. So you don't you don't need a, like a powerful machine. You can trigger these renders off your off of your phone. Um, everything is in the cloud and it's really fast. So let's see how to create this very simple integration. So as I said, the first module is the Google Sheets module, which is basically watching this. It, it is looking at this spreadsheet every five minutes. It's checking that the spreadsheet and it's basically looking for new, new rows, new entries. And all you have to do here is connect to your Google account choose where is the spreadsheet located, choose the sheet name. You need to check um, that it contains headers because if it doesn't, it will also count this as a, as a new entry, as a new render, which we don't want. And then you can set up a limit here. You can you know set up a hundred or a thousand. And what this limit does is basically it is um, limiting the amount of new entries that can come at, that can come back for rendering. You can do hundred, you can do thousand, you can you know do whatever you want here. And the second module is a HTTP um, post request module, which is basically a, like a plainly module, and it's doing a post request to our API, where it's a uh, body type row, it is a JSON content type, and by the way, you have all of this in the API reference. You just open that up. Um, I'm not a technical person. I didn't I didn't know how to do this, um, so I just learned by reading our documentation 
and you can see that this is the render the new render and then i can i can see all the parameters and the schemas and authorizations all in one place so back to integrament um, and then all i have to do here is i give this http request a project id a template id and then i link up parameters to the spreadsheet i say this is the city name okay take take a1 from uh, from the spreadsheet this is car name take b from spreadsheet this is the dealership take c from it. and then i go parameter by parameter and then i basically um, link up google spreadsheet with plainly and then after i am done with that i just add a little webhook which is this 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 part here and i'm saying okay once the videos are done send them to this webhook and a webhook is basically a url like um, like a web address that will be receiving those videos and that's really crucial because you have to have a webhook that will be receiving videos because that's how this scenario and this scenario communicate and the webhook will be basically like a, a, a online, like a web address that is watching for any new render. Whenever there is a new render, it will take a render and push it back to the spreadsheet. So that's why you have to add a webhook and which you can really easily do inside of Integromat and Zapier. And then I'm also adding a pass-through parameter here in order to know what's the row number so in order to put the video um in this cell i know to i need to know from which row number this this did, did this render come from you know where should i put it when it when it's done i know it's in the k column column but what row number and that's why i'm doing what, what why i'm passing through this row number under the webhook parameter and by the way, like all of this, you just you don't have to remember. You can just go into plainly. You just go to the project you created. You click on render, and then here render using API. You can just copy this, paste paste this into the request content, and you will have everything you need. You just link up the Google spreadsheet values to the plainly API values. And then the last step in this scenario is just you just have to give plainly your API key to authorize you to know that this is your account that you can be that you can actually um, that you're allowed to make all of these renders. And then just click on OK. That's it. That's the first module done. And the second module is even more even more simple. The second module is this webhook that I told you about earlier. This webhook is basically receiving the videos from this. It's receiving videos from Plainly. You don't have to do anything here. And then you just link up a webhook to a Google Sheet update a cell module, which will basically update the cells with the done videos. And inside of this module, all you have to do is, again, Connect your Google account. You can you you if you did this this module um, this is already done, and then you just pick the spreadsheet that you want the, the spreadsheet that you are deriving the renders from. Uh, pick the sheet name, and then what do you, what do you do here in the cell is you have to tell um, Integromat what's the cell that I'm going to put the done video in. So I know that all my um, done video cells start with K, and that's why I have K here. And then I just add the pass through, which is the row number. So in the, it will be it will be K one, K two, K three, you know, K four, and then that that way Integromat will know in which um, cell to put the done video. And then as the value, I'm just going to do output. And that output will be basically the link to the video. And that's it. I mean, that's that's the second module. You can just click OK. You can uh, enable this module, save everything up. And then 
um, this this spreadsheet is ready for automation and you can if you already add it I mean you don't have to do anything special if you if the client already sent you a spreadsheet with all of the variations you can just change the the headers you can just change the parameter names to match the ones that you made in plainly and you can basically click here choose where to start start with all click OK and then Integromat will take all of the uh, already existing uh, values and it will turn them into video renders. Okay, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you learned something and if you need anything, uh, just write us at this email and I'll be happy to help you. All right, thank you.